Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review The Finest Hours. So The Finest Hours stars Chris Pine, Casey Affleck, Ben Foster, and Eric Bana. The film is about a pair of these oil tankers that get destroyed during a blizzard. So it's up to Chris Pine and the others who are part of the Coast Guard. They have to go out into the ocean to go ahead and rescue those that are still surviving from that destruction that happened inside the ship. So The Finest Hours looked like a pretty interesting movie from the trailers and it's pretty interesting for this movie to come out in a month like January. But I was like, you know what? This looks like a pretty interesting movie. And I was just hoping it would be, you know, at least a good movie because I'm always up for these kind of based on true story movies. And I will say, while to an extent this movie did capture my attention, unfortunately, The Finest Hours, I do feel like could have been a lot better. There was potential for it to be at least good. And this is more along the lines of being more of a decent movie. I do think most of the performances are good in this film. Chris Pine, I thought, did a really good job in this film. Uh, Chris Pine always impresses me. He's just one of those guys where even if a film's not great, he can still do a good job and Chris Pine still carries it on his own. Casey Affleck, I thought his character was very interesting and I really liked what the movie did with his character. I thought he did a really good job in this film as well. Ben Foster was also really good as well. Uh, Eric Bana was also really good. I'll get to more of his accent. Yeah, but take that away. I do think Arabana still did a good job. And then the other performances, like the other crew part of the Coast Guard, I thought they also did a very nice job. I also thought the movie did look good with its cinematography and definitely the moments when you see the Coast Guard going out into the ocean. Those are definitely the scenes that I was really invested in. Anytime the movie focused on Chris Pine and the crew out in the Cape Cod, that's where I was really invested in the finest hours. They were very well directed. They were actually very intense at times. I was actually at the edge of my seat in some scenes in the movie because of how intense they got and I give props to the director and everyone involved in making this film. So I really like those scenes honestly. Those were definitely the best scenes of the finest hours. Cinematography looks beautiful. Direction is very well done. The movie is strong with its writing in some parts. And there was passion that went to this film and I always respect filmmakers that at least try. They tried with this film and I still say for what they had to do with the film they definitely did do their job well. But unfortunately, outside of the scenes that involve the Coast Guard out in the ocean, unfortunately, the scenes where we are not focused with them, yeah, I was not invested in those scenes. Not that I was incredibly bored. I was never like extremely to the bottom of the barrel bored. But anytime it focused on Chris Pine's love interest or just any scenes that go on, I just didn't find those scenes very interesting to be honest. And speaking of Chris Pine's love interest, the actress who played her, Unfortunately, I didn't think her performance was that good. She was actually quite cringeworthy in, honestly, a lot of moments of this film. The way she delivered her lines wasn't believable. When she cried, I found it somewhat believable because she actually shed real tears. And I always give an actor or actress credit for shedding real, genuine tears. Uh, but, you know, she did the best she could, but she probably was the worst performance, to be honest, in this film. Anytime the movie cut back to her, I would just be like, oh, come on, please, let's let's just get back to Chris Pine and those guys. Because the movie's honestly really damn good when it cuts to the ocean scenes. But outside of the ocean scenes, that's where this movie honestly falls apart. And the storyline really is not all that engaging. Even the dialogue can honestly be very poorly written in some spots of the movie. The dialogue just comes off as being forced, heck even cheesy. It just feels very off with how some of the dialogue is written. 
Kevin. How the film was also trying to build up Chris Pine and this girl's romance plot. It just doesn't go anywhere. Like when the movie opens, you see the two of them meet each other and it's going somewhere. And yes, it's kind of sweet. It's still rather sappy and cheesy. And that's the other thing. Their romance is like a complete soap opera. And you know me, guys. I'm actually a dude that likes romance but I just thought for my taste it got sappy here in this film and it did come off as pretty cringeworthy but not just that but how the film built up to their romance it doesn't really go anywhere honestly what the heck was up with Eric Bana's accent he had like this weird hillbilly accent and like I said earlier Eric Bana did a good job in the film but that was just so weird that really was pretty cringeworthy as well just hearing his accent I did forget to mention also the visuals when they're out in the ocean it did look impressive I really liked how it looked visually so I have to say the finest hours aren't exactly the greatest hours I've had. Not the worst, but not the best. It was just an okay film in my opinion. I was entertained for sure. It's a fun one-time watch, but not something I would go back to watching again, to be honest. I'm going to give The Finest Hours two and a half out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about The Finest Hours. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!